Hey guys, Courtney from CD Exotics here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Trying to get a thousand subscribers. Um, we are at 672 right now. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Today I'm gonna talk about um, defensive or aggressive hatchlings. I've had a couple people ask how you handle them. Um, you know, especially uh, pet people. They really want to be able to handle their babies and, you know, they're afraid to get them out of, you know, whatever they have them in, their, their rack or their tank, whatever. They're afraid to get them out. So I just want to kind of show you guys how I handle my babies. I don't handle them a ton, especially when they're like that. But obviously you do have to handle them some uh, to clean and things like that. So I'm just going to show you how I am able to get them out. So I should have probably, I know some of my babies are starting to settle down now a little bit, but I, I should have at least one that should give us a little bit of a show. But I just wanted to kind of say that if you don't have a hook, you should probably get one. Um, this one is from Reptile Basics and it kind of pulls open, just makes it easy to store. Um, I mean, it's not, you're not going to handle any huge snake with this one. But this is perfect for babies, and I do use it for some of my bigger females. Um, I just tap them with it, and usually that's enough. You can just kind of tap, you know, their nose or their side, and that's enough to kind of get them out of that kind of um, defensive mode. They look like they're going to strike at you. Uh, ball pythons, they just want to ball up. Usually that's why they're called ball pythons. So they're really not too difficult to kind of get out of that um, kind of strike or defensive mode. So let's go ahead and, uh, and grab this one baby and get him out and I will kind of show you how, um, even if he's not wanting to strike, I'll still show you kind of how I get them out of the tubs and try and avoid getting bit. All right, so here we have one of my babies that typically wants to eat me. You can already kind of see him See him kind of lining up a little bit. He's looking like he wants to strike at my hand. I see him there. So if I was to reach in, I don't want, I don't want to go too far because he is going to bite me. If I was to reach right in and try and grab him from the front like this, he is going to tag me. 100% he's already looking. Okay? So, so you can kind of see him. He's tracking my hand. He is going to get me. So, and a lot of people, especially first ball pythons, when they start doing this, they get really worried. They say, oh no, my snake's gonna bite me, it's gonna hurt so bad. Honestly, it doesn't hurt. Uh, I just try not to get bit. Um, but if you've ever tested your, like, your blood sugar or something, like if you're a diabetic, it's, I think that honestly hurts worse than when them biting you. So, if you have one like this, I usually just go straight with the hook with this guy because I know I'm not going to be able to get behind him. He's still going to try and tag me. But if you have one that's not quite as hardcore as this one, usually what you can do is you can go in from the back. See, he's really looking. And you can kind of get him from the back. He's, he, he wants to bite me. So I did. And I was able to get him from the back. But that's kind of what you want to do. You want to go in from the back. He's still going to try and bite me. Um, we'll put them back. We'll see if we can try again. You can also kind of cover their head. I wasn't trying to do that with this guy because I've tried to do that and he still manages to attack me, which is why I typically just go for the hook with this guy. But that's what you want to do. Like I said, if you go straight in from the front, you can see him. He's, he's definitely tracking me. He is going to strike at me. And I'm <laughs> trying not to get bit here. But yeah, so then, and see, look, he's already tracking around, coming around this side, so I can't even easily get around behind him. He wants to eat my face. So, if you have one like this, it's not a big deal. They will outgrow it, okay? I had a, I had a female that I kept from last year, and she did this every single time. She would come flying out of the tub at me, and it was, see, look at him. He... <laughs> he wants to strike the hook. 
This dude is just hardcore. Most of my other babies just ball up. That's what ball pythons typically do. See, I'm just kind of tapping him with the hook. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and see, I can just pick him up. He's so small that this hook is not, nothing's hurting him. Um, and I can just set him down. I can clean his tub, do whatever it is I need to do. He's gonna try to get me again. This one cracks me up. He's just so little and he thinks he's huge. And so that's all you do. You use the hook. You can also kind of tap them, right? See, I barely, I barely even touched him. It was like just the tiniest little tap, but it was enough to kind of uh, put him, you know, on the, I don't wanna say defense, because he's already very defensive, but kind of uh, get him back. And that's what I'll do if I have like a big female that's trying to come out at me. If, when you use your hook, you do want to kind of, you don't want to get them too close to the back end or too close to the front end. Like I'm a little close to the front here and it's a little hard to support him. Like he's not cooperating here. But you definitely want to support them with the hook. Okay. And then once you get them with the hook, usually you can get them. And it's not a big deal. He might still try and eat me just because that's what he does. But, see now, now I got him and he's cool. I can clean his tub, everything's good to go. But, he always wants to eat my face. I can't ever open his tub without him trying to get me. So, I'm gonna put him back and see if I can get another one. It's a little bit less uh, defensive. So this, this guy doesn't usually give me any problems. Okay, clean his, his tub. But see how he's kind of in the back there like that? I can't really get behind him, you know, because he's like right there. He doesn't usually try and strike me, but what I do then is I'll just kind of slide him forward a little bit. Oh, and he moved his head. So now I can get behind him from here. But you just want to get behind them. If you go right at their face, I mean, if you've got one that likes to try and tag people, it's going to tag you. If you go from behind, usually they will not. You can also try and just cover their head and see how he's just balling up. That's what they do. It's like he's going to shed here soon. That's it. He said, you just always want to reach in from behind. It's real easy when they're balled up. You can just reach in and grab them. But if, they're, if they've got their head out and they're really looking at you, you can watch them. They're tracking your hand. So always go from behind. Some people just reach right in and cover their head. I prefer to just come from behind. Or like I said, I get the hook. It's, it's super simple. This one is so tiny and easy to use. And like I said, they outgrow it. I mean, like I said, my female from last year, I can get her out no problem now. I I don't try and worry about, oh, I need to handle them a bunch when they're like this. You don't need to. You can if you want to, and you might get there quicker. But once they get some size on them, they're going to outgrow it, and they're going to be fine. So, said, this is why they're called ball pythons. Curl up in a ball. But you will get that occasional baby that does want to eat you. All right. I'm going to kind of show you this one, too. Uh, we're going to pretend that this is a big female. Maybe he's sitting on eggs, or maybe just is hungry. And see, look, she's tracking me. See? So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our hook and just kind of just tap her right on the nose. Just kind of bop her right on the nose and see how she kind of backed off there. We're just going to bop her again. So she kind of starts to ball up a little bit. And then she gets on the defense. Starts, and there you go, and you can pick her up. It's the same concept with the big ones as it is with the small ones. Usually, bigger ones you don't have an issue unless they're really, really hungry or they are um, on eggs. So that was just a really quick video on how to handle those defensive babies. Try not to get tagged. You can see that one, uh, that first one, he really, really wanted to tag me. If I had just reached in there, he definitely would have tagged me. 
and they can break off teeth when they do that. Uh, they can, the teeth can break off in you and they can get infected. Normally, if that doesn't happen, it's just like a tiny little pinprick and you'll barely even bleed and it really doesn't even hurt. But obviously, if you can avoid getting bit, it's better for you and them because, you know, you obviously don't want them breaking off a bunch of teeth. But like I said, if you don't have a hook, I recommend it for everybody. You know, even if you're, you know, and a lot of people think, oh, you know, hooks are only for, you know, venomous or whatever. And I have ball pythons. Why would I need a hook? It's just, it's awesome for the babies. I feel like they, they don't get quite as upset. You know, you just kind of reach in, scoop them up, set them down, and then you just put them back. Makes things super simple. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you could uh, comment and like this video, let me know what you think. Um, and I will see you guys next time.